Hello, my name is Ward Schrader. I'm co-host of a show with my daughter Tamara Day called Bargain Mansions, showing on HGTV with a new season coming up, I believe, in November. This is a Working with Ward series, and there's something that happens every fall that I find really annoying, and that's that little critters like to find their way into a nice warm place for the winter. Well, there's one little critter that I am not letting in my house, and it, I hate mice. No no mice in my house. So I wanted to show you what you can do and it's super easy and anybody can do it. So what I have found, I've used poison. Uh, the problem with poison is it's a little indiscriminate and, and could hurt your animals. So that's not a particularly good thing. But just a plain old-fashioned mousetrap is the most effective thing that I have ever found. And these things are less than a dollar a piece. You buy them in three packs. And mice have the unique benefit to you of liking dark hidden spots so your, your pets don't have to interact with the mice or the mice traps, mouse traps. So I wanted to show you how to use one of these. It's really quite simple. Um, some of them have a little plastic, some of them have a little metal device here that's the, the trigger, actually, as you can see. And I'm going to take just a little piece of cheese, not much. And, by the way, I've washed this thing in hot water for quite a while, because I hate those little devils. I don't even like to touch them. They're just dirty. Anyway, here's the cheese. You can use peanut butter. Uh, sometimes peanut butter with actually a peanut or something on it has been very effective. But you stick the cheese into a little slot here and you just make sure it's relatively connected and pressed into the little holes in the bottom of the, of the, uh, of the trigger. And then this device is just spring-loaded. You flip it over, hold it down, put the latch into the back of the triggering device. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Thankfully, that didn't hurt. That didn't go very fast. But that's not something I'm anxious to have happen. And there you go. That is a trap that's going to catch a mouse. Now, I'm not sticking my finger in there. Don't kid yourself. I'm not showing you how to do this or how to hurt yourself. But I am going to trigger it for you so you can see it. And that's all it takes. And most of the time, you're still going to have your cheese there. Now what I will tell you is I don't like touching these little devils. So I use a pair of pliers after I've caught one. And I just take it outside. The mouse is in it. Oh. I forgot. I have an old pair of rubber, glo rubber gloves that are very effective, so I still don't have to touch them. And I'll grab the mouse will be caught underneath this lap, underneath the spring. I take I take it outside. I I pick this up like that. I shake it a couple times. The mouse falls off. I take it inside and I wash the trap again in really good hot water. So. I, if anybody has any doubts about how to catch mice, this is by far the very best way. And you'll only catch a handful of them if you get started right away. I would almost suggest you put this in your house right now whether you've seen a mouse or not. And just prevent them. Because once they get in, they can nest, they can have babies. It can become a really big problem. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching another episode, at least a short episode, of Working with Ward.